We all want our AI to be brilliant, right? But just as important, we need it to be fast. And when it comes to understanding images, there's been this huge bottleneck that's been holding everything back. Today, we're going to look at a breakthrough that might just change all of that. You know that feeling. You give the AI a really complex chart or a dense page of a document, you ask your question, and then you wait. And you wait some more. It feels like it's taking an eternity just to look at the thing. Well, here's the fascinating part. It turns out the slowdown isn't happening in the language model, you know, the AI's brain. The real traffic jam, the real bottleneck, is happening in how it processes the image to begin with. The problem isn't the brain, it's the eyes. Okay, so let's really get into this. To understand why it's so slow, you gotta understand how an AI actually sees a picture. See, it doesn't just take in the whole thing at once like we do. It has to break it down into a whole bunch of tiny little pieces. And these little pieces, they have a name, visual tokens. The best way to think about it is like you're describing a photo to someone who can't see it. You wouldn't just say, it's a city. You'd say, there's a red car, a glass skyscraper, a person on a bike. That's what the AI's vision encoder does. It turns the picture into a list of descriptions that its brain can actually read. And right there, that's where we hit the snag. Because if you have a really detailed, high-resolution image, the AI has to generate a massive number of these tokens to make sure it captures every little detail. The more detail, the more tokens. It's that simple. So how massive are we talking? Well, get this. A really good recent model, Lava One Vision, has to generate more than 7,000 tokens for just one high-res picture. That is a data traffic jam of epic proportions, and it clogs up the whole highway between the AI's eyes and its brain. Now, there's actually a name for this waiting game we all play. It's called Time to First Token, or TTFT for short. It's literally the time on the stopwatch from the moment you send the image to the moment you get the very first word of a response back. And that is the number that just has to get smaller. So, how do you clear a traffic jam like that? Well, some researchers over at Apple decided to tackle this problem head-on, and what they came up with is, frankly, pretty brilliant. It's called Fast VLM, and its secret weapon is a totally new kind of vision encoder, one built from the ground up to be both fast and incredibly good with high-res details. They call it Fast VTHD. The magic behind this thing is its hybrid design. It's kind of the best of both worlds. It uses these really fast, efficient layers to do a quick first pass on the pixels, and then it hands off that summary to these much more powerful transformer blocks that are amazing at understanding context and meaning. And the result of this clever combo? It's just staggering. Remember that crazy number from before? 7,290 tokens? Fast VLM looks at the same kind of image and generates just 256. It didn't just manage the traffic jam, it cleared the entire road. Okay, okay, so the token count is way, way down. That's great. But the million dollar question is, does that actually make it faster in the real world? And maybe more importantly, did we sacrifice brains for speed? Let's look at the numbers. And wow, just look at this. The old model, over 14,000 milliseconds. That is 14 seconds of you just sitting there waiting. Fast VLM gets you the first word back in 166 milliseconds. You can barely even blink that fast. We're talking 85 times faster. The wait isn't just shorter, it's gone. But like we said, being the fastest is completely useless if the answers are suddenly wrong. Did this incredible speed up come at a cost to its actual intelligence? And the answer, amazingly, is a resounding no. Just look, on general benchmarks, it's virtually identical. On really tough reasoning tests, they're neck and neck. Yeah, okay, there's a bit of a dip on document-specific tasks, but for an 85 times speed improvement, that is a trade-off I think pretty much anyone would take. It proves you can have both. You can be fast and smart. So what does an 85 times faster visual AI actually mean for us? This isn't just some cool lab experiment. This is the kind of leap forward that's going to genuinely change how we interact with our tech every single day. The key thing here is this is designed to run right there on your device, on your phone, on your laptop. So imagine snapping a photo of a document and having it analyzed instantly, or getting real-time help making sense of a confusing graph during a meeting. Our AI assistants are going to feel so much more responsive, more powerful. And because it's all happening on your device and not in the cloud, it's more private and honestly way more accessible for everyone. Which brings us to a final and really exciting thought. 
we're getting closer than ever to closing the gap between the speed of an AI's sight and the speed of human thought. So the question isn't just what this can do now. The real question is, what will we all create when AI can see and react as fast as we can think?